everybody, this is Tambiota coming at you with another third party Transformers video review. This time I have Fans Project CA04 Storm Bomb um, from the uh, Fans Project Subline Causality Crossfire. And looking at the front of the box, you can see uh, Storm Bomb through the window right here in his robot mode. And um, then you can see an artist rendition kind of picture of him right here. Um, and then on the side, and you can see a picture of him in in his robot mode with all of his accessories and chain and whatnot. Then on the back, we get some action pictures of him, uh, along with a picture of him in his uh, bug mode. And then over here, we got some pictures of him from the front, back, and then um, different pictures of his accessories. And then on the side, we have another artist rendition uh, picture of him, which is kind of the opposite of this side. And then looking at the bottom, we have some warnings. And then at the top, we have uh, this picture again that's on the front. So let's get this guy. All right, so let's get this guy open and check him out. All right, and here we have Stormbomb out of the box and in his alternate mode, which is a horned beetle. In the box, he does uh, also come with uh, his little profile card and with a little bio on the back. He comes with his instructions, nice colored instructions. Oops. And then he also comes with a um, instruction appendix um, that shows how to properly transform his legs so that um, when you're trying to transform him back into robot mode you don't pop off his leg. And then he also comes with his chain. There's not any official way that you can kind of put it on him. Um, I've done it before where you kind of connect it to the bottom of the sickles and then you can wrap it around his body and you can kind of do that. And that's kind of an unofficial kind of thing. And then he does also come with some replacement parts for uh, Thunder Shred. He comes with um, uh, four tips and four four three yeah well he pretty much comes with a extra uh, chakra with um, an extra handle part so he comes with two handle parts and then uh, four of each of the blade parts so, so to um, we'll go ahead and take a look at him in his uh, his beetle mode kind of look at the top and the bottom um, kind of um, a problem that I've seen with this guy is that like Thunder Shred, he can kind of walk on his stand on his own weight or on his own legs under his own weight or whatever, but he doesn't. There's the way that they made the ball joints and the way that they're cut, you can't, you don't really have a lot of uh, range of motion or articulation for uh, his legs. Basically, all you have is like you can turn it like that and you can turn it like that. This whole cut is right here, so you have no up or down kind of movement it, unless it's sideways like that so there's, there's very little up or down movement so basically he's he's sitting there standing on his little elbow joint right here not really standing on the tip of his of his claws and then so that makes a little problem when you get over here with his his little front uh, claws you know um, either you got him standing on the front and the back and then not this middle one which is kind of just hanging in the middle air or you got them standing like that um, so there's a, a little bit of a problem with with his um, with his bug legs like that but um, you know since there's no official Hasbro release for these guys at this moment you know you just kind of got to live with it but um, but really when I display these guys I don't display them in this mode I display them in the robot mode so you know we'll go ahead and get to uh, the transformation uh, but uh, just kind of a little extra thing is that uh, he does have um, for this this horn the spiked horn right here he does have a little you know you can play with that and kind of move it around there there's a joint there there's a joint there so you got like three joints in this horn right here um, but you know uh, going on with the transformation, um, 
first thing we want to do is we want to come to the back or the bottom part right here and you can see the hands and we're going to work on that first so we're going to take these little black pieces up here and we're going to pull these back like this and then we'll take these hands and detach them from this little tab right here so that tab tabs into the arm right there in, in, um, in their bug mode so we'll just undo those tabs and we'll just kind of rotate these just to kind of get them out of the way so they're not in the way of these arms and then um, there's a little hinge right here up in the shoulder that allows you to um, to rotate that that shoulder up or the arms up and it's just right in here there's a little hinge in there so when you you can just go like that and rotate that up like that and then get these arms all situated and then um, what you want to do for these, these shoulder pads is I'm just going to go ahead and pop these things off and I'll put these those back on later um, you want to do is you want to take and extend this all the way out and then you're going to rotate it around and then take it and it's going to become the shoulder pad so you just take it and go like that and we'll mess with it a little bit more later on um, uh, later on the transformation just to kind of get it looking right because it doesn't it doesn't peg into anything so just click it rotate that around and then just kind of go like that and take this arms there we go okay and then for the feet um, this is where that that extra appendix for the uh, for the transformation comes in hand. And you're just going to kind of go ahead and um, split those, split the legs apart, and then you're going to take uh, what are the feet and just kind of pry that apart, flick that up, and then you can see the bottom of the leg right there, and you can just push like that, and it'll un, it'll unlatch it, and then you can just kind of push a little bit more. And if you don't do that then um, it'll actually pop off this ball joint right here which is no problem it's just kind of a pain and you're just going to pull out until it clicks kind of so yeah it's out all the way and then we'll repeat that for the other side kind of push that and then go like that and then we'll just kind of with our finger just kind of push so that it comes on un unclicked and then you can push just enough so that you know, you can grab this ball joint right here, and then you can just hold that so that it's not going to pop out. Now, there it goes. Um, Alright, so then after that's done, we'll rotate these forward, these feet forward. And we'll go ahead and mess with these legs right here and get this nice and pretty. I'm going to fold in this, this front part right here. Um, the leg and then rotate it around there's a little a little nub it doesn't really tab into there it's just um, it's more of a guide so you just kind of place it there it doesn't tab in or anything it's not deep enough to make it stick or anything but it's just um, kind of a guide to show where that where that's gonna go and then there's another little hole right there and it's got a little tab and that one's that one is even smaller so you just kind of feel around for where it is And then we'll repeat that on this side. And like that. And then for the feet, we already have this heel back and we already have the toes pointed forward, so all we need to do is take the feet and just rotate that forward like that. And then next what we want to do is I'll go ahead and go for the head. And you're just gonna take uh, this black part right here. And it's got a couple of hinges, it's got a hinge here, hinge here, and I'm just gonna rotate that back. And that'll reveal that head, and you can just take that and hinge it down, and then go like that, and it'll sit nice and neat like that. And then you can take it, rotate that down, and then rotate that up like that. 
And that'll store these little, uh, these little weapons on his back right here. Alright, and there's the face. And then the um, last step you're going to need to do is um, you got to get these um, these pieces right here, uh, the crotch piece and the, I guess, the 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 armor and the side armors and then um, that is going to actually go down and it'll kind of lock into place and these they don't really lock into place so you can just kind of go like that and then you just kind of leave them there so I'll probably be messing because see you can go way too far down uh, I generally I generally like to leave them about right there uh, I think that is in my opinion is what looks the best so go ahead and stick this down and then like I said we'll go ahead and mess with these shoulder pads just to get them kind of looking a little neat and then um, you can take these size and then uh, they're gonna go back up here where they were whenever they were the hands so Just go like that. And see these shoulders, they don't really tab anywhere, so they just kind of flop around all over the place when you're moving the armor around. So you gotta readjust them and everything. And then um, for the chain, the chain's just attached to the bottom of either of the weapons. So you can take it and go like that. To kind of go like that. Um, See, this stuff is, is very fiddly. So, um, like that. Or you can take like these pieces off right here. And you can attach one of the sides to, to that. So, you know, you got like a little hook sword looking thing. So that in his arm and then you can put this in his other hand but it's a nice long metal chain but I generally like to just leave um, these parts in the back uh, you want to be very careful. These are very, very sharp. These are very, very sharp. You can like prick yourself with them, kind of stab stuff. So keep them away from your eyes. Keep them away from small children because uh, they can do they can't do damage. They're not a uh, soft plastic or anything like that, and they are sharp. Uh, these aren't. Huh, these are still a little sharp, but they're not as sharp as those as these right here. Um, so you know you can kind of. Wrap this around his hands like that to kind of give him a look like that. But um, for his articulation and stuff, um, his shoulder, if we look in there, he does have a ball joint for his shoulder. So you can raise it way up, go down there. He has a, um, a hinge at the top of his uh, elbow, and then he has a ball joint at the bottom of his elbow, or under his elbow. Um, his wrist has no articulation. Then he has um, uh, like a waist and head swivel. Then he has a ball joint at his leg right here, or at his hips. Um, with a cut right here so that you can swivel his legs in and out then he has a, um, a knee joint right here and his feet are on a ball joint right here and then this part of his heel is on a joint but with that that'll go ahead and conclude my review of fans projects CA04 Storm Bomb this has been Tambiota and I'll see you next time